Hi guys, this is Laura, um, your hairstylist. So today I'm doing a video on trying to keep your hair smooth for when you're flat ironing. So this will be, I'm using a blow dryer on Christina here who has naturally curly hair and I'm going to show you the tips of when you're blow drying your hair so that it'll be really, really nice and smooth and easiest to flat iron because you don't want to spend like three hours flat ironing it. It shouldn't take you that long. You want to make it the easiest. So what you want to have, show you this, this is a good quality blow dryer. Um, I spent almost as much as this as I did on my flat iron. It's Thermaline and it's ionic. So what ionic means is it's shooting at negatively charged ions, which are going to smooth your hair and dry it much faster than just like, you know, some crappy one you got for $20 at like Walmart or something. Anyway, so over here, this is um, Christina's hair we already blow dried for her and we just kind of rough dried it. We kind of tossed it all over the place like this when we did it. So as you can see, it's very frizzy um, because all of her natural curls are out and it doesn't really feel that smooth either right now. So this side, if we were to try to flat iron it, for me it wouldn't take that long, but for Christina it would probably take her a while. If she needs to be somewhere fast, she wants something that's going to be quick. So on this side, I'm going to show you, this is still wet how to blow dry it to make it the smoothest. So as I said in one of my other videos, when you heat hair up, it wants to take the form of whatever it's been heated into. So whether you're curling with a flat iron or straightening it, you know, that's why you get it straight. So you want to do that with your blow dryer. You know, you don't blow dry your hair all over the place. If your end product, you want it to be sleek and smooth. What you want to do is you want to blow dry it from top to bottom starting at your roots to get all that water out of there first because it's just going to trickle down your hair anyways and try to get it as smooth as possible so I'm going to use this nice blow dryer I have I'm also going to use my brush and we are going to smooth out Christina's hair and you'll see a big difference between this side and that side Also, if you have a cool setting on your blow dryer, you want to use that. So get it really nice and hot and blow dry it and then shoot on your cool setting because remember the cold setting is what is going to set your hair in the shape it wants to be. So if I heat it up and make it smooth and then I set my cold setting on there, it's going to make it nice and straight. Can you see my lights dim when I put on the cool setting? See already how much smoother this side is than that side and this is just you know blow drying it all over and this is just blow drying down and this is so easy to do to yourself you know just because I'm doing it to her it's not easier blow dry your hair like this oh there you go blow dry it's easy
So the hair is still really nice and hot. I'm going to go over it with the cool setting one last time. There we go. Now see your hair is not perfect, but look at this. This is completely smooth and straight. This almost looks flat ironed. Can you see that there? Versus this. Now that didn't take very long at all. So, you know, it kind of hurts your arms after a while, but it makes much better results. This will take her, you know, one, you know, second for each of these little sections. It's going to be so fast. And it wasn't even any more time consuming than it was for us to do this side. So there you go. That is making your hair smoother to flat iron it with me and Christina, my curly hair friend. Bye.